Hi, I'm Timothy, a support engineer with the Blackmagic Design Singapore office. In today's video, I'll be guiding you how to download and quickly get started with the Blackmagic Camera app. The Blackmagic Camera app is available for iOS devices on the Apple App Store. To download the app, simply open the App Store, search for Blackmagic Camera, and tap on the app when it appears in the search results. Before downloading, it's important to ensure that your phone is compatible with the app. You can easily verify compatibility by checking the app information section. Once you've confirmed compatibility, you can proceed with the download. After the download is complete, we'll launch the application. Launching the app will prompt you to grant access to the camera, microphone, and photo library for proper functionality. You also have the option to provide the app with location data, which can help include location information in your clip's metadata. Remember, these settings need to be configured once, but you can always adjust them later through your iOS settings. Now, let's explore the app's functionality by capturing a short clip. Upon opening the app, you'll be presented with a display with overlays featuring details like timecode and shooting resolution. The Blackmagic Camera app closely resembles the user interface of Blackmagic Design cameras, making it intuitive to operate. To adjust settings, simply tap on the corresponding controls, and on-screen controls will become available. You can select your preferred lens by accessing the lens control. The types of lenses available here depends on your iOS device. Now we're using the iPhone 15 Pro Max here, so you'll find options such as the 13mm, 24mm, 120mm telephoto, or even the front-facing camera. An essential step in your shooting process is managing exposure and focus. You can have the app handle exposure and focus automatically by tapping on the point you wish to expose and focus on. Alternatively, you can lock the exposure and focus points to specific areas on the frame by tapping and holding, which activates the AEAF lock indication. We'll turn this off for now. Now, suppose you'd like to focus your lens manually. Head to the focus icon, and if autofocus is engaged, disengage it, and slide the control to set your focus manually. If you'd like the app to regain control of focus, just tap on the desired point of focus, and it will adjust accordingly. In addition to manual focus, you can also control exposure manually by adjusting ISO and exposure compensation settings. Simply go to the stabilization icon and choose between standard, cinematic, and extreme levels of stabilization, or you can turn stabilization off. And the Blackmagic Camera app can choose how much stabilization you want applied. Now when shooting, it's useful to have overlays on your display. Simply go over to the overlays icon, and we can turn on zebras, and this will show you areas of the image that have an excessive exposure level. Focus Assist helps to highlight parts of the image that are in focus. There are also frame guides that help you frame up your image for different aspect ratios, such as 2.4 to 1, or even vertical resolutions, such as 9 by 16, 1 by 1, or 4 by 3 for social media. False color overlays help you to determine exposure by representing different exposure values as different colors. The LUT icon allows you to turn on a lookup table so that you can preview what your shot will look like after it has been color corrected. Now you can also clear the heads up display by swiping up or down with your finger. Furthermore, you can make additional adjustments in the camera app settings, such as your recording codec, audio options, and display preferences. You can choose to record in H.264, H.265, and ProRes codecs. The available codecs may vary depending on your phone's capabilities. Now, these settings also allow you to modify the resolution you're shooting in, 
and assign a color space. The app can perform an anamorphic de-squeeze if you're using an anamorphic lens adapter. And you can enable vertical video recording here. You can set your audio source, which is handy for external wireless microphones, and define the audio format. Lastly, you can load lookup tables for use within the app from the appropriate menu. Now let's explore how to review, search, and sort your clips. By default, the app saves your recordings to your phone's internal memory. To review your footage, tap on the media page. To view a clip, simply tap on it. You can access more information about the clip by tapping on the information icon. And if you'd like to save the clip to your device's photo library, use the share icon and select save video. This will store the video in your photo library, making it accessible for other applications later. If you have a Blackmagic Cloud storage subscription, you can upload your clips via Blackmagic Cloud into a DaVinci Resolve cloud project. You can log in to your Blackmagic Cloud account by going to Settings, selecting Blackmagic Cloud, or simply by tapping onto the Blackmagic Cloud icon on the top right corner of the Media tab. To further save time, you can tell the app to only upload proxies, which are lower resolution copies of the same video files. This is especially useful when you don't have a very high speed internet connection. Select your media from your All Clips folder and tap the Upload button to sync directly into your DaVinci Resolve cloud project. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of how to begin using the Blackmagic Camera app. Now, if you want to learn more about how Blackmagic Cloud and Blackmagic Cloud Storage can synchronize with your DaVinci Resolve cloud project, make sure to watch our next video. For more information, please visit our website, blackmagicdesign.com.